that there is someone out there who would definitely oh, there's... buy who would definitely pay to buy jewels. Oh, there's some psychopath yeah. out there who would do that, but yeah. pretty yucky. Not you, of course. Oh, oh, boy, you're, oh boy. you're a normal person. Yes, I'm the normal forty year old man who spends all his time <laughs> talking about cartoons. <laughs> Cartoons from like 25 years ago. <laughs> totally normal. <laughs> when everyone knows the real normal thing for 45 year old men to do is scream and moan about how cartoons from 30 years ago were written by time traveling Illuminati Satanists who predicted the future. <laughs> oh my gosh. I. Mm. <laughs> the less said about that, the better. Did, did you have to go there, mm. Matthew? Like, I had to go there. I I feel so awful. Ah! Like, you know too many people who actually <laughs> believe in that stuff. I know. Like, that's, why it's, that's why it's funny yet sad to me. <laughs> like, how can someone believe in the Illuminati? I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Yes, I understand. Well, I mean, here's the thing. There's a germ of truth in it, I'm sure. I'm sure there's some group that does nasty things. But the extent of their reach is, um, yeah, there, there comes a point where you've turned into this absolutely impossible phenomenon where they'd have to be like, um, what's the word? Um, omnipresent. <laughs> Omnipresent, omniscient, omnipotent. Uh, you've, you've essentially turned them into God at a certain point. Yeah, it's, it's um. At which point, one begins to wonder what it is you're actually worshiping. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not it's not easy. Um, Being to... green. <laughs> well, you know, you know what? You have a point there. <laughs> Where are you now? Um. Wondering where what what decision I made in my life to go this way. No, uh, I'm talking about the no, game. I'm um oh well I'm here in this place where Ralph is trying to grab me. Don't you uh, see? I'm gonna f you guys up. <laughs> Just as soon as I can see my feet. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'd probably be doing a lot better in this if I wasn't trying to come up with co uh, comical statements along the way too. That's it's okay. generally generally the idea. There we go. Okay. Oh, uh, I hope Chris comes back soon. Yeah, me too. I hope he's okay. All I know is if Chris doesn't come back soon, he's going to disappoint literally hundreds. Uh, well, no, actually more like literally tens. Uh, well, no. Okay, he'll probably disappoint the one person who actually bothers to watch this. He'll disappoint me. All right. No, no he won't. Actually. Good enough. Mm -hmm. Maybe you just had to go to the bathroom. I don't know. All right, here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no! So this is all apparently happening at the Oscars awards ceremony. Keep that in mind, folks. Uh... <laughs> there are There are explosives rigged up at the Oscars in case... A bunch of cartoon characters suddenly Oh my break gosh. It's, yeah. You're gonna die. Yeah. Look at that. It's it, they're not they're not messing around. Oh no. Uh-huh. Why would these kids put themselves in these precarious situations? Because they're they're totally insane. -y. You you know the theme song. Well, yeah. Where's Lon Chaney? Miscellany. <laughs> Della Delaney. Here's the show's name. Here's the show's namey. Well, how many other of the Animaniacs theme song rhymes can we remember? Uh, this is these are the these are the bits you come in here for, folks. <laughs> to, to hear us just repeat lines from cartoons. Oh, excuse me. Um, oh gosh, what was it? I remember there was like, ah, uh, darn it. I remember, there was like one bit. I can't remember what it was. There was like one. One of the um, uh, alternate rhymes at the end of the show, I always found like incredibly funny as a kid, mm -hmm. and yet like I didn't actually get the joke. Like it wasn't what until was I was—I don't remember what it was. I was—I was trying to remember. It was one like I misunderstood like the joke, and when I realized what they were actually saying or what the joke actually meant, I was like, "Oh, that's even funnier than I thought." But I don't remember what it is. I—I I, I almost want to say. Good story, Matthew. <laughs> 
I almost want to say it's the Where's Lon Chaney joke. I, I want to say it was that one. That, that's the one that kept popping into my head. This I, I want to say it was that one. That, like, I, I, I thought he was saying, Where's Long Chaney? Because, like, he's looking for the long chain for the bell because he's dressed like, you know... Quasimodo when they realized, oh no, Lon Chaney Jr., the actor oh, who played. I, I think, I I think that might have been it. That it was like, I didn't realize he was talking about Lon Chaney Jr. That's what I thought he was saying. Yeah. Maybe that, that might have been the one. Huh. Again, it was one of those ones, like, I thought it was funny that I realized what it actually was. Like, oh, that's even funnier. <laughs> <laughs> so, with all of the chaos that they cause... Would the Animaniacs, would the Warner Brothers technically, like, be considered, like, a terrorist group? Sure. I mean, think of all the mayhem they cause. You wouldn't want to be a terrorist after watching Animaniacs. <laughs> oh, that's a great thing to say. Yeah, that's just what we want to hear. Man, look at that. They got, like, the, the police out after them and everything. Yeah. Jeez Louise. Look at that. See? There's, like, a... Attack helicopter and everything going after them. They're shooting at them. Yes. Oh, this is worse than I thought. I was just kidding about the camera <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I wasn't, obviously. Oh, jeez. They're trying to kill them. <laughs> what is this game? Well, I mean, keep in mind that it goes, this, I mean... How many times did someone try to do stuff like that to the Warners anyway throughout Animaniacs? And then, of course, the acknowledgement, yes, they're cartoon characters. All that would do is briefly incapacitate them. <laughs> yeah, but still, don't, no. don't use I'm it. back. Oh, hey, there he is. He's back. Hi, Chris. Chris, hello. What the hell's, the hell's going Hi. on here? Uh, no, he's we, just... We just experienced... Uh, we just well, experienced can we can hear him. Like he's, yeah, we're talking to him. We just heard his voice there. Uh, oh, they're gonna reload. You can't. Yeah, you can't see. Chris, We're streaming I it. I hear your voice. That, that's our roommate. Let me. <laughs> and now he's just dead silent. Aww. Wait, what? Wait, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> our our roommate our roommate just showed up, and she was like, "Chris, I want to hear oh. your voice." Yeah. Yeah, hi. I, just wanna <laughs> I can't say even hi. hear them. Let me wait. What do they sound like? Uh, sound like an annoying, <laughs> worse than an animaniac. <laughs> 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 I mean, you Your said it, not night. I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't hear it too well. We only got the, the microphone doesn't extend that far. Sorry. Can you hear me now? Yeah, there oh, you I go. Gotcha. <laughs> no. She no. might, she might also have to step away because, because uh, she's got to freshen herself up because she was just doing play practice. Mm -hmm. She's helped directing the. Play. Oh my God, Matt, run! I am. I'm, I'm running as fast as I can. You, run! You only have one speed. I have one speed. Go. <laughs> Chris, oh. where were you at just now? Were you pooping? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, no! Good talk. I was going to say, I, I wanted to assume that he did hear that, but just, just decided not to respond. <laughs> wait, w wait, what happened? <laughs> 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 Catherine just said, like, Catherine just said Chris, where were something? you? Were you pooping? Oh. No, I was actually uh, air frying some leftovers. And oh, that's cereal. all right. Well then, well then, soon enough you'll be pooping. Everybody poops. I, I do that joke too many times. You do. Okay, so you don't know about my digestive Look at trick. this! Wow, look at this! They're like burning down all of Los Angeles. Oh dear I, God! I guess with that in mind, the Warners have done a good thing this day. You, you playing a <laughs> creepy pasta, Matt? Hey, what is happening? <laughs> this is an animaniac. Is it? I forgot that this happened in the game. You you set me up. <laughs> this is a creepy pasta game. You <sighs> set me up. No, this is the actual game. Are you serious? This is what? horrifying. What? I didn't. Mean, <laughs> looks no, like there's is, blood in the sky. This is. I mean, because again, this is like the sort of thing. Whenever people are like, "This is for kids," <laughs> I'm like, "You guys, you guys grew up before the <laughs> 1990s. You have no clue." <laughs> <laughs> this is all totally acceptable. Yes, our main character That's just true. burned down Los Angeles. That is totally oh fine. Are you sure about that? Totally acceptable. I mean, look, it's Los Angeles. They had it coming. Forget about all the the people that live there. <laughs> Uh, okay, oh, that didn't need to be good. I gotta go back anyway to get the crate to come back. There we go. 
So, uh, okay, so now that Chris is back, Jasmine, you can tell us your, um... Oh, great. I saved my progress, like, just before getting <laughs> blown up. So, no matter what happens... Uh, well, I, I did avoid it. Great, okay. Oh, um, look at you. Look at me, yeah. Okay, I'm going to save my state so I don't have to jump right out of the way. There we go. I mean, um, honestly, there wasn't much more to tell about the story. No, okay, so you were telling your, your funeral story. You said you were there. Yeah, and, but, uh, but basically, like... Um, the people who came didn't have a ton to say, and when they did have something to say, they were like, well, I mean, let's admit it, we didn't like this person very much. <laughs> That's great! And, and like, like, there was like, there was like slight giggling, and it was like, okay, let's get to the food! Oh, that's funny! <laughs> oh, gosh. I mean, I mean, there were still some people there who were sad and things, but... I remember that being the least sad funeral I had ever gone to. You know, my family Did, has... Why do funerals have to be f sad? I never well, understood that. I was going to say, my family has actually always had the, the attitude about funerals that you should it's better to laugh than to cry at a funeral like you, yeah, of course yeah. you're gonna cry it's sad but like let's remember yeah. the good times let's you know you know like the quote from dr seuss you know what is it um don't cry that it's over smile that it happened mm -hmm. and that's always kind of been our yeah. mentality because i was going to say my my grandfather's funeral um my dad um did the did the sermon for it and things my dad was a preacher and uh he had he made so many jokes during it and um because like my grandfather you know i've talked about him he he's you know he was a very funny person very witty he's he's one of the main reasons yeah. i wanted to become a comedian and a cartoonist and stuff is to make people laugh um so he told like a lot of jokes about like my grandpa and like you know how he had a lot of lame jokes that weren't all that funny but they became funny because he kept doing it and uh one in particular that i remember dying laughing at like everyone cracked up at and there were like a handful of people who like didn't know what he was talking about and they were like horrified that dad said it which made it even funnier um my mm -hmm. grandfather um used to work oh my gosh he, where did he work i remember he worked in um he used to own a, a dry cleaners business but like there was another thing he used to do um he worked like a steel mill or something i don't remember around all this like heavy factory and like he had actually cut off uh, by accident, his his index finger, um, and my grandfather, oh, one of his favorite jokes was to come up with new ridiculous stories every time about how he lost that finger. Oh, that's funny. So, like, you know, if one of us, if he caught one of us kids picking our noses, he'd be like, "You shouldn't pick your nose. Look what happened to me," you know, and he'd show us his finger and we'd laugh. Um, and he'd, you know, he'd come up with like ridiculous stories every time. Well, during the um, during the the funeral my dad said something about how you know herb you know was had a great sense of humor um he'd always tell he, he'd, he'd tell jokes i remember how he said it because he did say something he had a great sense of humor he said like herb herb would do something that um would humiliate everyone or something like that because like, he was being like sarcastic about it he goes and then when my kids had the had the nerve to laugh at him he'd give them the finger and like we all oh, started funny. laughing like crazy <laughs> but then like there were a few people who didn't know what he was talking about they're like how dare he say that <laughs> which only made it even funnier to all of us oh my goodness it's funny <laughs> all right I wish I, I wish I so here's pinky in the brain what are we gonna do tonight brain the same thing we do every night, Pinky. Try to take over the world. How are we gonna do that, Braid? By fixing your voice, you actually sound British again. Pinky, what is the one thing that all people, regardless of age, nationality, and political orientation, love? Racism? <laughs> Oh, what the? Come on. <laughs> that was funny. No, you dimwit. The movies. The movies. We will control minds by cleverly manipulating the movie icons that they worship. Now, what does that mean, Brain? Now, Brain, I'm going to have to correct you there. <laughs> <laughs> we will steal the Warner Brothers collection of movie memorabilia and use it to brainwash the people. The brain that's stealing from children. <laughs> Hey, those rats stole our movie collectibles that we stole from the theater. <laughs> or studio, I guess. We're not rats, we're mice. And that short rat with big head can talk. <laughs> Says the talking dog thing. <laughs> of course I can talk. I am a genius, isn't that right, Pinky? 
Yeah, yeah that's right, Brain. Oh, come on, <laughs> yeah, Sorry. Man. You're brilliant. Narf. That wasn't like a joke. <laughs> he just usually says narf. <laughs> anyway, at, give us back our stuff. Look at my hands. <laughs> 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 he's like, <laughs> he's like, is, is Yakko Warner going to have to slap him? <laughs> you know I had to do it to him. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, right? But how do we teach a sardine to speak Russian? They got it wrong. He says, are you pondering what I'm pondering? Not I'm thinking what I'm thinking. Yeah. Pinky, I shall have to hurt you soon. Summon the robot. Yes. <laughs> Yipes, what's that he just said? It's a robot. Weren't you paying attention, Yakko? Come on. It's my robot. That's what I just said. If you want your possessions back... You must defeat him. Don't give me that kind of look. 